The big bar will star in the Snickers Super Bowl commercial on February 2nd, and then Dennis should have their next commercial after that. <laughs> you got me with that Snickers. You know, I, truth yeah? be told, just uh, the, the, the truth story, I, I've been bought off with Snickers bars. Oh, really? That, is that, that, is that I, I feel that much about it. Good to know. All right. <laughs> All right, NFC Championship up top. Uh, what's the difference maker? Turnovers, controversial hit, play, missed field goal, fake punt, or is it simply the quarterback play? Packer Aaron Rodgers and 49ers Jimmy Garoppolo tee it up Sunday at 340. We got Rodgers, future Hall of Fame quarterback, the pitch man for State Farm Insurance, and then Jimmy J. Now, the 49ers do feel pretty good about their quarterback. Offensive lineman Mike Blaglinchy told reporters enough of the Jimmy G isn't in the same league talk. Let's go. You know, Aaron Rodgers is superior to, it, it, we think it's and I think, you know, not that Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers is a Hall of Famer, but we're very confident that number 10 is just as good as anybody out there. And he's proven that time and time again this year. I don't, I, I, okay, we ran the ball 47 times against Minnesota. What's wrong with that? You know, what's wrong with our team doing that? Why does it have to fall back on a negative to Jimmy that he didn't do it? And we know we did enough. We won the game by 17 points and dominated the entire game. Whenever my old linemen are pissed off, it's always a good thing. So, <laughs> for me at least. 49 is still a seven and a half point favorite. A, a game this big, you know that there's Bay Area links on both teams. Packers featured receiver is Devontae Adams. He's living a dream out of Palo Alto High School. He's got a lot of hometown backing, too. It's going to be a lot of people here. That's for sure. It's going to be a lot of people. i got like 18 tickets right now, so it's, it's pretty crazy. It's a campus maybe divided. It, it is a campus divided. We want to see him do well, but we got a lot of 49 to pay for here. <laughs> Nine years after graduating from Palo Alto High, Adams is starring with the Green Bay Packers and returning home this weekend with a chance to go to the Super Bowl. This is really a dream come true for me, uh, being in this situation. Adams carved up the Seahawks last week. Eight catches, 160 yards, and two touchdowns. You'll see plenty of Richard Sherman Sunday. I don't just go rogue like, hey, hey, this is their guy. I'm going to do it this week. Like, it doesn't make a difference to me. You have to understand what they're going to try and do to us. And obviously taking away 17, it's got to be right near the top of the list. Number 17 is Aaron Rodgers' number one target. But Adams was far from a five-star recruit coming out of Palo Alto High School. How many stars were you? I think is one a star thing? <laughs> the other thing? I had to be one star then. Adams landed at Fresno State. He caught over 200 passes in two seasons playing with Derek Carr and was drafted by the Packers in the second round of the 2014 draft. I went to Fresno State, people would disrespect you go in the locker room and, you know, I'm talking with Alabama guys and stuff, they want to disrespect the school I went, and I'm like, it clearly don't mean nothing, man, because <laughs> look where we are. NBA Warriors have lost 10 straight games. Can they put a stop to it tonight? Running with Orlando, moving pictures on The Late Show. What a scene at Washington State. Clay Thompson returned to Beasley Coliseum to have his jersey number, number one, retired. Start for three seasons, 242 three-pointers. Zaza Pachulia and Steph Curry were on hand for the ceremony in Pullman, a town that sounds like it's got a lot of support for Dub Nation. I know we've done amazing things with the Warriors. Side note, give, yeah, thank you. A lot of Warrior fans up here, it makes me happy. So, special thanks, everyone from the Warriors who was able to make it. We've done some amazing things, and who would like to see a couple more championships in the future? You know? so, we're gonna get to that. No matter what uni I put on, hopefully a Warrior for the rest of my career. But, uh, I will always be a Coug. I'll always be a Coug. Pac-10 play, this is a thriller. Stanford at USC. Stanford's up big. Okay, final seconds of the first half. Tyrell Terry launches one. Stanford's up by 20, Jules. Up by 20. It's over. But they committed 12 second-half turnovers. Look at this. A steal by Jonah Matthews. Elijah Weaver, he hits, tied the game, and sent it into overtime. In the extra period, uh-oh, Weaver, down low. And one. The Trojans came all the way back, won it 82-78, and handed Stanford their first conference loss. West Coast Conference, we had casual Randy Bennett on the bench for St. Mary's dark uniforms at Pepperdine, second half. We call this a shooter's roll, Jules. Jordan Ford, 
corner pocket, and look at this. Boom, but it, and it goes in. He scored 26. Gales won at 78-69. Their record is 16-4. and four. Legendary player Bill Cartwright saw some history this afternoon on the hilltop against Loyola Marymount. Jordan Rotino with this bucket. It was his 237th career three-pointer, set a new USF school record. Don's won at 61 to 51. Sharks finished their first half of the season tonight in Vancouver. Those moving pictures on the two for Saturday night show. You're fired up. I am. We got lots Let's going go. On. All right. Thank you, Vern.